Good news in the sense that uh, we've got another opportunity, which I'm sure is going to further inflame the left. They've been threatening violence as a result of this news development, which is the retirement of Anthony Kennedy from the Supreme Court. Now, uh, Justice Kennedy uh, was not a reliable conservative. I don't think he was a conservative at all. Uh, whatever he wanted to do, he did on the court. Sometimes it resulted in good results for conservatives, as what happened recently this term. But oftentimes uh, it resulted in uh, the Supreme Court usurping power that wasn't granted to it under the Constitution to create new policy and new rights. And uh, so uh, any constitutional conservative that gets on the bench as a result of President Trump's opportunity here to nominate someone uh, is going to be a marked improvement uh, for those of us concerned about having Supreme Court justices on the bench who believe in the rule of law, try to apply the Constitution as written and originally understood by those who created the documents, and uh, resist the temptation. Judge Bork, uh, he called it the tempting of America. And one aspect of it in, in that book, which I, I think you should still, uh, which is still out there, you should read, was that you know if you're on the bench, it is so tempting to insert your policy views and substitute them for the law, because any judge is going to be faced with decisions that if he applies the law, that will have an end result he may disagree with as a citizen. And so the temptation is to insert your political beliefs and impose your political beliefs through your judicial office, which is a violation, in my view, of your oath, uh, but judges do it all the time. And the left has got a nasty habit of doing it because they recognize oftentimes they can't get what they want at the ballot box uh, or through the legislature, and so they rely on judges to change policy. Uh, so uh, Justice Kennedy's retirement is an opportunity for President Trump to appoint another constitutional conservative. If he appoints someone like Gorsuch, it's almost inevitable that he gets his nominee, nominee through the Senate. And the left is going to be very upset. So what's going to happen over the next few months is the left is going to scream as much as they can. Uh, Democratic senators are going to try to placate their base uh, by opposing President Trump's nomination nominee, whoever she or he may be with outrageous comments and threats and uh, you would think uh, uh, they'll say it's the worst person uh, ever to be nominated to the Supreme Court, but they have to say that. Uh, but the person's going to get a vote, he's going to get nom he's going to get approved by the Senate, it's going to happen. And so what I would think you want to do is let your senators know what you think about these issues both uh, Democrat and, and Republican, because there will be Democrats who vote for President Trump's nominee to the Supreme Court. So you should let your views be known. And, and, and it's a good habit to get into. I mean, you just assume your voice has no, uh, no weight here in Washington, D.C. It does. Uh, the House and the Senate, they keep track of the calls and the letters uh, on these issues, and they track it, believe you me. It, uh, it may not change a vote, but it sometimes changes rhetoric. Someone who may be uh, wanting to vote against the nominee uh, may not take a leadership role they otherwise would have taken because they know their constituents don't like it. So I encourage you always to share your views. And that goes for, you know, if you disagree with me, share your views. Don't threaten violence. Write a letter. Call your members of Congress. Call your senators on the topics of the day. Uh, they want to hear from you, believe it or not. They do want to hear from you. They're politicians. They're in the business of figuring out what, they're electing, uh, what the, their constituents want. So uh, this is a great opportunity to solidify a conservative majority on the Supreme Court that is going to actually apply the Constitution rather than amend it from the court, which is an outrageous abuse of their authority under the Constitution. So uh, the left is apoplectic. And... Uh, but if they want the justices that uh, are going to usurp the rule of law and substitute their own will for them, they're going to have to get more votes in the Senate and they're going to have to change the presidency. That's the way the system works. Now, they're going to want to short-circuit the system somehow to get what they want, but that's the reality of it.